Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we finished off um, Space Junk in the Fountain, and we also did the two one-off galaxies of the Fountain. And in this part, we'll be doing the next main galaxy, which is... Battle Rock Galaxy. Yeah, one of... or one of people's... Um, well, like, I, I was gonna say favorite, but I think... To be honest, they only like it because of the music. With Battle Rock Barrage. So yeah, it's, it's actually not that hard. I think um, some missions in Space Junk are actually harder by comparison. Not that they're actually really hard. But as you see, the star is in that cage there. So obviously we're going to need a bullet bill to get it. That much I know. But So yeah, if you just listen to the music, you, it's, it's pretty good music. I would be quiet, but you know, I don't know what Nintendo would... How, if they would, you know, like claim this video or something. I don't know. That would be bad. Not that I really care about the profits or anything, but you know, I, I don't want to like. It might they might tell me to like remove the music too. That would be even worse, and I don't know. I just don't want to take a chance. Anyway, what you have to do is collect the blue star chips here. Actually, you don't really. You could probably do a. Can you actually do a? Eh, you might be able to do a fancy triple jump and get up there. You could definitely do that with Luigi because you know Luigi jumps higher. But getting the star chips isn't that bad either. You just have to explore all around this. Uh, these saucer platforms, and eventually, all that for only two pull stars. I think you can actually. I probably could have got the pull star from there if I had more camera room, but. Uh, just get up there, then we'll be launched into the main part of the level. This, uh, this mission isn't actually that long. It's sort of basically mostly auto scrolling, you'll see when we get up here. We'll be on this platform, all, or for, for the most part, and spin in the screw. These uh, electric things will start coming. Or start going around, these uh, cannons will start coming out. Yeah, these cannons will start firing. If you want to get a coin, you can actually shoot. Yeah, you can shoot the cannonballs and you'll get a coin if you ever need one, or if they're just in your way. I think you can only get three per, like, cannon, or two per cannon, though, so yeah. Yeah, you'll have to basically switch platforms like this, too, or, I mean, switch sides of the platform. It's all around a... It's a, it's a pretty interesting concept, although they sort of reuse it later in the game with something that gets a lot harder, especially with a certain comet that I shouldn't say because it's sort of a spoiler. Oh yeah, this also creates some star bits, which I actually could use because, you know, you could always use star bits. Because considering we have uh, another Hungry Luma appeared outside the fountain, I think it costs like 600. Um, we're gonna need all the star bits we can get, basically. Which is why I'm totally wasting them on these cannonball coins that I don't need. Uh, yeah, that's that's really that's really a, a thing. Anyway, from here I can just go along, jump to this, and what we want to do now is you see there's a star, but we need a, a bullet bill to get it. There's these bullet bill uh, generator things over here. Lead one over to the star, or if you want to get any of these prizes, you can. I think there's actually. Yeah, there's a box up there. I think it just has, uh, coins or star bits or something. Uh, well, there's coins here. Useless, as always. I don't know why they even put them there. Uh, you come here. Uh, jump up here. I don't need two of you. So, uh, uh they're gonna destroy each other, aren't they? Oh, no, I guess not. Okay, you destroy this. No, no, this. <sighs> not me. I must have, like, teamed up or something. I don't know. Instead of destroying... Well, then again, I guess they did die anyway, so... Was it worth it in the end? Was it really worth it, you bullet bills? Okay, come here. You need one. Come here. Fire! What are you waiting for? Okay, come here. I just need one. You will do. Get on that platform so it raises above it. Then... Why did you go down so low? Uh, that's getting... Just saddening at this point. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Okay, stay above here. There we go. Come down, destroy this platform. Okay, that was like this close that so you can't see me, but I'm like making a really, like, I don't know, really small gesture with my index and four, with my index finger and my thumb. Anyway, there's a star. <laughs> Not a really long mission compared to some of the other ones we've been doing, but it's still pretty fun, and like I said, the music of Battle Rock is really awesome. Probably tied with, like, the best song in this game, if you ask most people. I don't really have a favorite song in this game. I haven't really listened to the soundtrack in a while, but Battle Rock definitely is up there with my favorite songs in this game. 
And on to the second mission, which is... If I know what it is, I'm gonna be... Yep, it's breaking into the Battle Rock. I remember this being one of the missions. I couldn't remember if it was the third one or not. I think, though, this is the mission... Um, yep. This is... I just saw that bomb pop out, and... This is definitely... The, the uh, secret star of this mission is definitely one of the most... Hated missions of this game, probably. If not the most hated mission. But anyway, we have these bub bombs here. Which you can carry, and you can throw them at these glass uh, containers, and they act just like bullet bills do, where they blow them up. You know, obviously they're both explosives. Uh, sometimes they'll be walking around, but uh, and you can like spin at them to hit them once, and then spin at them, or just walk into them to pick them up. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. There's a there's a hungry Luma here where you have to feed, and I guess getting those star bits back on that other planet would help. But what you're really supposed to do to get star bits, and I think I might just do this mission first just to get it over with, just because I don't like it so much. Uh, you want to go get that, uh, this over here, this, um, rainbow star. Because, as you know, Chain Chomp's only weakness is the rainbow star, or Invincible Mario, I guess I should say. And you can kill all these Chain Chomps, or destroy them, I'm not really sure if they're sentient or not. But anyway, they give you a boatload of star bits when you defeat them. So that's basically how you're supposed to get, I think you need, uh, you might need a hundred or maybe it's 70, I don't really know. Actually, I'm probably not going to get it. Ah, there we go. Okay, well I got at least 60 or so. Let's see, how many do you need? Maybe it's only 60, I don't know. If not, I can always use the extra star bits. Um, oh, 30. Wow, that, okay, that seems like not a lot compared to what I had before, but... Anyway, I always recommend, like, if you have the Star Bits, to go after the Hungry Loom of the mission first. Uh, just, you know, because you might not have the Star Bits on the second go. Even if you're not going to go for this, the Hungry Loom of Star in your first run, at least, like, unlock the galaxy, because... Or unlock the planet that he unlocks, because it'll still be there even if you go through the mission again, but I am going to do this first. And, yeah, we have... Uh, people's complaints about this. Yeah, this is the ammo depot, not a garbage dump. What, people think they could just toss their trash here and it'll magically disappear? Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe we can use them to blow up all this trash. Yes, I will. Gee, thanks. And, what you basically have to do, this is like the secret star of this galaxy, well, one of them. Pick up a bomb, and try and throw it where those, uh, yellow dots are. I, it was really, I was a little off there. And you want to basically try to chain together all the bombs you can. That's basically what you have to do here. I'm not going to hit that. Oh, great. Now I have to throw one there. Um, and the challenge of this mission really isn't, like... <laughs> it's the time limit and how and how long it takes the bombs to explode, which is really your trouble. Uh, that one's not going to explode in time. Yep. It takes the bombs about probably seven or eight seconds to actually explode, so yeah... That is pretty much, I don't know, it's pretty hard, and I, I would I would be surprised, or I would be surprised if I actually got it on this run. On any run before, like, 10, jeez, I did it again, ugh. You need to get, if you get them, like, right where the center, okay, maybe I actually, actually no, ugh, crap. Actually, that's gonna explode that, but I already, I already... I already messed it up by getting hit there, so, yeah. And it can chain together those two and no. Even if I did get this, that one's not gonna explode in time. That's probably the that's like the same exact thing I did last time, too. Except, if, if I didn't get hit, I probably could have done it, too. Ugh. Actually, no, you have to actually talk to him again. Actually, actually. Yes, I will help. If I don't get this within, like, two more tries, which I you know, doubt I will, I don't mean to sound all negative, but it's just sort of what's gonna happen, because I, I'm not good at this. There, you wanna... Yeah, that's as close as it's gonna get. Man, there, actually, I should throw it from there now. That's actually probably a better spot to do it from. Uh, there. There. One more. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Get it! Ah, uh, it's not gonna explode in time, is it? Explode in time, please. Oh no! Ugh. Just add one more second. Oh, it was because there was no bombs on that other side, and I had to run to the other side. And wow, Mario looked kind of demonic right there. Just look at him. He's like staring right into the <laughs> the Guillermo soul. Yeah, that's these what that's what these guys are called. They're called Guillermo's. I don't know. 
I guess you know they'll kick the gear. I didn't really give it a robot voice, but you know, they seem more sentient than they actually are. And again, robots can be pretty sentient, I guess. Uh, that one should be fine. That one over there. This one will go in the middle. Yeah, I don't really like this. Ah, uh, that's not... That one on the way back isn't gonna get... Nope. Dang it. Watch this one explode, too, in time. Okay, well, if I would... I would have had that if that... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut to my successful attempt, because I don't want to commentate over this anymore, but it's kind of starting to annoy me. Okay! It, okay, apparently it was my next time. Uh, you know, of course it was. Okay. Anyway, just give me my star. Apparently star's magnetic. Who knew? I guess, because he's holding onto that magnet. That's a kind of weird magnet thing. Anyway, there's a star. I never have to do that again, except I think there is one more mission like that in the game. Uh... Anyway, I think I should mention this too. In Galaxy 2, they sort of replaced that with, um, you had to destroy boxes with a fireball, or with a fire flower Mario, which is immensely easier because they were, like, set up in lines where the fireball would go through, like, a whole line of them. So yeah, just are all around easier if you ask me, but, uh, we should probably just get the main mission done to, done as well, and, and we might even be able to do the next one as well. Um, I, I don't remember exactly how long breaking into the Battle Rock will take. It might take the rest of the episode. I'm not sure. If it does, then who cares? We can just do the next one in the next episode. Say, um, I guess I can skip this now because I, we already saw it. It's the same mission, just, um, just, you know, a different mission. <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense, but, you know, we're going after something different. It's not like we're going after the Secret Star, and yeah, something I should, uh, mentioned too is that if you throw a bob on top of like a glass container like that it like it's su it's surprisingly sticky like I don't know it, it like really gets stuck up there like easily like so you don't have to worry about it falling down or like slipping away from it so it won't explode on it it's I don't know it's it's good and I'm, I'm not complaining but it's kind of weird it's like you would think it would fall down I don't know oh the Luma's cry for help I mean, I, I knew they cried for help, but I just heard it right there, and it just sounded so pitiful. Or, if you were Flood, it is most pitiable. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, you need that to, uh, come up here, and yeah, they're still giving you shake tutorials, because apparently they didn't know you could... You could change launch stars while you're in space, even though we did that in Good Egg Galaxy once. Or maybe, maybe that was an optional star that you could do that in. Oh, they changed the music here. Why? I just listened to it, and I just heard it anyway. There's a, uh, ex health extending mushroom there for some reason. It's not a boss in this level, so it's not really needed. Oh, I know what the next mission is, and that's the boss, so, anyway. Sorry it's on the outside of this container thing here, which I didn't actually notice until now, but... Um... Oh, okay, I guess the, they brought the Battle Rock music back? Okay, that was a weird transition, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't think there's actually anything you can get... I don't think you actually get anything from hitting the switch because, you know, you, you have to go down that uh, pipe there, but I want to see what's in there, dang it. Okay, just star bits. And it, then again, like I said, star bits away are always helpful, so I will take it. I didn't get all of them, though, but who cares. Anyway, we obviously have to free that Luma from that, uh, prison imprisonment. What you want to do? Get a ba -bomb. Like, we haven't done this before. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm... That's what I meant by them, like, walking around. They can do that, too. And if they are, just spin into them, and they will, um, go into their their spherical form like you see now, into a cannon. I think this is actually the first cannon we've seen, but you just want to hit and make sure try- Oh. You want to try and get, um, right in the center, because if you do, you'll destroy both the inner and outer crystal at the same time. The hungry Luma, or the regular Luma, will create a launch star out of itself, and you can, you don't even have to go to the side of the planet, or er, inside of the planet. You can just launch straight from the launch star. Now. Oh, no. Well, this die landed right on the cannon. It's sort of like a back and forth between this until you get it. And I didn't think it would be that hard, but apparently it is. So, yeah, if you did this on the first try, you could just shake right from here, and then you get shot out right there. You'd think that changing direction while you're going that fast would, I don't know, like, give you, like, whiplash or something? I don't know. It would probably give you something, but... <laughs> apparently not to Mario, no. You know, this planet always looked like 
looked like some sort of nuclear missile or something like to me. I don't know, like a really old style nuclear missile or something. I don't know, it just looks like it. I guess it doesn't have a really pointy tip. In fact, it almost would be not very aerodynamic, but I don't know. Maybe they're going for that, maybe not. Anyway, what we have to do here is aim for the star, uh, you know, obviously, but aim for it when, uh, you know, there's going to be an opening. Don't shoot past the star, because even if you shoot past the star, uh, you'll, you'll either, one, fly out into space and die, or two, you'll hit one of the platforms on the other side and you'll still die. Well, you might be able to save yourself if you hit the platform by, like, shaking. And, like, you might actually be able to shake into the star. That might work. I've never tried it before because I've always hit the thing, but... Anyway. Yeah, I think we have time to do the last mission of Battle Rock, you know, just to get it out of the way. And it is... Let's see. I already know what it is, but, you know, I don't want to announce it before it's there. Top Maniac and the Top Men Tribe. So this mission, like I said, it's going to be the quote-unquote boss of the level. Or galaxy, I guess. I don't know. Level galaxy, same thing. And, um, we have these pull stars up here. And, uh, something that I can apparently long jump to. Uh, yeah, we have the introduction to Monty Moles here as well. Uh, if you go near them, they will disappear into their holes, so you want to do is ground pound near them. Then you can stop on them, or spin jump into them, and they'll give you a coin. Uh, you don't have to kill them, but, you know, why not? I think that, that uh, mystery coin on the other side just gives you, uh, one up. Or, maybe gives you star bits, I don't know. It gives you something, but it's apparently not needed. That thing on that platform will, uh, laser you if you get, if you stay in one spot. You can also shoot at these things to destroy them, which is kind of handy. And, uh, as you see, we will be introduced to the Top Men tribe with, uh, this red thing. You basically just want to spin into it, into, like, uh, the electricity, which is kind of morbid if you think about it. I mean, not really, but, I don't know. I mean, I know they're, like, the bad guys and stuff, but it's, I don't know. Just, like, shoving someone into electric fence, I don't, or electric wall, it just seems sort of morbid or something, I don't know. I think that loom over there just tells you that you have to free your friend by doing that, but... Yeah. You know, I, I always... I, a personal thing for a minute. I always thought I always thought this, like, mini platform here to be, like, really cozy. Like, one of those, those like, really weird, like, spots in a game. Like, where you always feel really cozy. Like, I don't know. It just feels really... You're on the side of a planet. Like, the only thing here is this guy, which I can kill. Because why not? Besides him, you know, it just feels really... I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> enough with my... With my weird rambling, I guess. We go into a random 2D section here with the gravity that you can change by pulling that lever. A clever trick you can do to skip this whole area is just that. Or, what? What? I know you can do this. I've done it before. Oh, no, you have to stand on the block, actually. Uh, get up. Don't hit, get hit by the goop. Don't get hit by the... Don't get hit by anything. Get up on the platform, and you can long or er, you can jump up to here, and that basically skips the whole area. No, it's not pole jumping. Well, not the whole area. I guess there is still this area here. But um, when you're on uh the, these 2D sections here, oftentimes you'll have these squisher platforms. The ones that'll actually squish you, and uh, it's an automatic kill, by the way, will have like these markings on them. Obviously, uh, it doesn't really look like they've been through much to make them that squished, but apparently they have, because now it just looks like they're... just looks like they're all cracked for no reason. Uh, here is this guy again, you know, we saw him in that one one-off galaxy in, uh, the terrace, but... stomp on this platform here, and it... I, don't, I never really got what this was, it... I don't know. Anyway, it transports us to the bottom of this platform, which is actually the... the top of this platform, I, I don't I don't know, I was trying to be, like, clever there or something, but... No, not really. Uh, these top mans won't... Or these top men, I guess, would be the plural. If you're going off regular English. But these top men won't actually kill you, like, directly. They'll... They can push you into something that will, though, and then gravity suddenly changes for no reason. I don't actually know if you'll fall there, like, to the abyss, if you don't go in that launch star. 
I, I don't think you would because it looks like the gravity was going towards that platform, but you know, you never know, so I wasn't just going to take the chance. Uh, there's a Hungry Luma shop on the other side of here, which, uh, yeah, I never explained that before, but if you ever run into a Luma that looks like this, this, uh, blue Hungry Luma, it'll give you a life or a ex life extending, uh, uh, mushroom for 30 star bits. I'm not gonna do it because, you know, I want the star bits. I could use the life, I guess, but it's just gonna reset at, when, at, after I, you know, restart the game anyway. But anyway, here's the boss. It is Top Maniac, and he is pretty much the easiest boss, well, second easiest boss in the game. Only second to Dino Piranha, but that should be a given. No, stop pushing me around. His, his l underlings here are more threatening than him. Just push him into the, the, um, the electricity like you did his underlings. In the whole level, that's basically what they were teaching you in the level. But once you hit him twice, he'll throw out these, uh, red top man, these top men, and, you know, and yeah. Just hit him three times, he was dead. Uh, yeah, I don't really know... I don't really know why he would put his weakness on the top of his head there. That seems like kind of a stupid choice. But anyway, that is a star. And that should be the end of Battle Rock unless a comet appears, which it probably will, let's face it. Let's see. Um, top Manic in the Tommen Tribe. Coins, Star Bits, almost up to 600. I think the Hungry Loom is 600. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh, yeah, there's a Daredevil comment. I guess we'll do that in the next part before we go and face on the boss. So, in the next part of Super Mario Galaxy, we will do that Daredevil comment and then face off of the boss of the, uh, fountain. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.